Okay guys, so I'm back and this time with um, stage four um, uh, of the World Health Organization um, classification of HIV in infants and children. As you can see there, um, I've drawn I've drawn um, this little um, boy, skeleton boy. Um, he's lost all his weight and it's his bones left basically. Um, in the previous picture, um, I did draw another um, boy there, but he had a little bit of um, weight lift or um, muscle mass. And so this is the difference between stage three and stage four. Um, stage, so stage four, we will begin with, um, we will begin with um, severe, not moderate anymore, severe malnutrition. Malnutrition or wasting. Or wasting or the or stunting and this is this malnutrition just like the other one is unexplained and it does not respond to treatment okay so um that is that is the first difference that we have between stage three and stage four of the children, okay, with this malnutrition. The previous stage three was um, moderate malnutrition, and here in stage four we have severe malnutrition. All right, then next I want um, us to remember the following um, abbreviation, excuse me, the following abbreviations. Uh, we have CMV, KS, and TB. Okay, so CMV represents cytomegalovirus. So they do have cytomegalovirus infections. The next is KS, which is Kaposi sarcoma. They do have Kaposi sarcoma infections. Um, then uh, the third abbreviation is TB. And as we know, TB, they will, they will, TB stands for tuberculosis, so they will have tuberculosis. But remember that we already had mentioned tuberculosis in the previous picture um, over here where they had TB. But remember we said that they had pulmonary and lymph node TB. Here, the TB in stage 4 will now be extra pulmonary. Right. Now that we're talking about TB, we'll also talk about other microbacterium infection. Other microbacterial infection. And these microbacterial infection have to be disseminated. So um, we have extra pulmonary TB and other microbacterial, uh, disseminated microbacterial infections. Um, then, when I think of TB, I think of lymph nodes as well, and that's how the word lymphoma comes up. Okay, so the next in line is lymphoma. Um, the types of lymphoma that um, will fall under this stage is cerebral lymphomas and the B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Right. Um, and... Coming again just from the word TB, um, which is an infection, um, I then remember bacterial infection. So these TB reminded me of that and it reminded me of that, right? Ta -da, ta -da. Okay, bacterial infections. Now, these are bacterial infections, all bacterial infections except for bacterial pneumonia. Why? Because we already had bacterial pneumonia over here in the third stage. So all bacterial infection except bacterial pneumonia. Right. Um, so what types of bacterial infections would this be then? It will be things like empyema, it will be pyomyosis, um, bone and joint infections, and also like meningeal, meningitis, uh, yeah. So all these bacterial infections, it's not limited to this, but it excludes bacterial pneumonia. 
Okay, and since we're talking or speaking of pneumonia, it gives me or reminds me of the word pneumos, pneumocystic. We then, no, since we're talking about pneumonia, we will now talk an, about another type of pneumonia since we aren't allowed to talk about bacterial, right? So let's just write that word down there. We have pneumonia, but it's not bacterial. It's pneumocystic. Pneumocystic pneumonia, which is caused by pneumocystic gyrovici. Um, then, um, then the cyst word in, in you know, this pneumo... Let's take the pneumocystic word as a whole, right? So this pneumocystic word reminds me of like a fungal... I don't know it just gives me fungal vibes so um the fungal infection so they'll have fungal infections but um more scientifically they have what we call mycosis um so this mycosis will be disseminated and it's an endemic type okay um, so they have dissemin endemic disseminated mycosis. And the types there can be coccidiomycosis or histo, uh, histoplasmosis. Right. And then the word cystic of the word pneumocystis reminds me of crypto, probably because of the C and the Ys in, 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 this let, in, this, in these words. Crypto. So what about crypto? These patients will have what we call cryptococcosis or cryptosporodiosis. So... Um, this cryptococcosis should be extra pulmonary. I don't have space to finish that word. Extra pulmonary. And this uh, sporidiosis should be chronic. This sporidiosis is sort of like um, an, 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 an um, uh, diarrheal disease, okay? And since we're talking about sporidiosis and we're talking about diarrhea, we'll then also think of another diarrheal disease, which is what uh, we call um, isosporiasis. Spores, no, isospor, wait. Isosporiasis. But this has to be a chronic isosporiasis. Guys, if you don't understand the terms here, um, I do suggest that you stop the video, look it up, and that way it will be easier to remember why I linked it to the previous words. Okay, so then after chronic sporodiosis, um, I then take the C of chronic and I think of Candidiasis, because it starts with a C. Candi candidiasis. Now, remember before we had like oral candidiasis. Here, we are not speaking about oral candidiasis, which we had in stage one, which was over here. We did not, no, it was not on this picture. It was on another picture I draw. Sorry, no, oral candidiasis is stage two. Stage two. Why do I keep saying stage two? Stage three. So um, it is not oral candidiasis like it was in the previous stage. It will be um, uh, esophageal, um, tracheal, bronchial, and pulmonary candidiasis. So once again, this candidiasis is going to be tracheal. And you go down bronchial and you go down again pulmonary and then you go into the esophagus esophageal candidiasis um and when you think of candidiasis of course where do you put the candy in the mouth right so when i think of the mouth i just put a little blister there there's a little blister okay and this blister reminds me of 
herpes simplex, not zoster like we had in the first picture, not herpes zoster like we had in stage two, but herpes simplex is part of stage four. This herpes simplex has to be a chronic one and it can be orolabial, it can be cutaneous, cutaneous, but then it has to be for like at least more than one month. And then it can also be visceral. Okay, so since we drew the lips and then are the, and we are then talking about organs, let's just put a brain there, right? My brain is probably going to look weird. But yeah, let's just say that's the brain. So we will have what we call encephalopathy. Um, but there will be two types of encephalopathies that we can have. It will be HIV encephalopathy or leukoencephalopathy. So HIV encephalopathy and leukoencephalopathy. Um, so we're done with the brain. Now we go to the heart and then we go to the kidneys. And these, my dear friends, will remind us of cardiomyopathy. Let's say HIV related. Cardiomyopathy, let's just draw a line of distinction there, and nephropathy. And guys, that is it. Stage four done, and all stages done for HIV staging according to World Health Organization of children and including infants. Congrats, guys, and I hope that this helped. Um, you should just go over it like a couple of times and it will be easy to remember. Like I said, if there are terms that you could not understand, um, just um, basically pause the video and go Google it up so that you understand why I linked it with the previous things. Um, those that of you who are interested in um, listening to the at the next video which will be basically more of uh, adult staging um do stay tuned as the video will be uploaded soon um in that video where we do the hiv staging in adults it will we'll basically be using the same pictures that we have and we'll just be identifying um which of the components from the, uh, the, the, the children's um, stages are part of the adult stages. So it will be much, much easier. So just make sure that you have um, made this concrete in your brain so that you have a foundation to work on for the adult staging. Um, thanks for watching again. Uh, like the video and do subscribe. See ya.